Okay, 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 okay. Hello. What's up, Noah Time viewers? Hope you're well. Workout of the day. Uh, we're gonna do pull-ups, and then we're gonna do, I figured a new system out. Bucket, take a bucket, put water in there, and then you can do like stuff with it. So we're gonna do shoulder workout, lateral raises, maybe some bicep curls, maybe some rows. There's a dog in the woods. And we'll just see how we feel. Ooh, I'm also gonna do some leg raises for core, because I'm, I'm getting convinced by you folks in the comments saying, do some core, buddy. Do some core, pal. It's important for you. And I, I agree, probably. I think and leg raises are really hard, so I might just do knee raises or something. But anyways, I'm gonna do real quick, oh, sweet, oh, this part. I found a place for it, which is right here. Hopefully this works. Oh brother, get a load of this guy again, doing more of this bullshit, so, yeah. I'm so looking forward to finding a child's playground or just sort of a baby or child's playground that has monkey bars and pull-up bars so I can do this uh, with a proper grip because for some reason holding onto a metal cubic bar doesn't feel good on my fingers. <laughs> I feel so weak. I can't pull myself all the way up. I don't think it's the roof's fault. I just think I'm not that strong yet. That's okay. Oh, I've working all day. All day. And I'm gonna keep working after I film this. There's a toxic productivity. I think a little bit ingrained in all of us. Maybe not all of us, but when you're like working towards something. What I'm doing right now doesn't feel like toxic positivity as much as more like urgency. The video I'm doing is about, it's about Gaza. And there's this, this feeling of, if I don't finish this in the next few days, more things like this are going to happen. And it's not gonna nullify the thing I've been working on, but it just means I have like a sense of obligation to uh, continue or to add whatever happens to the video. And then it just is an endless video. So you have to cut it off at some point, but I've only done a few where I'm really needing to compile a lot of things all at once. And I, I now see why newsrooms have like 30 writers and editors and everything. Doing all this on my own is a lot, I'm realizing. But for now, I just wanna do it just to get a full sense of the full process, full, full times, full of file times. Okay. I'm in one of those phases where I can't tear my fingers away from the keyboard until I'm like really hungry or have to pee and my bladder's gonna explode. Like I'll work having to pee really bad for 45 minutes. Uh, not great, but that's it's what it is. Oh, cheating, 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 cheating. Just a little bit and that's okay. It's okay to cheat as a treat. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I don't do enough things, different things, variety of things in my life to be interesting. It's one of those things, this like insecurities that I'm airing that aren't things that I genuinely feel. It's more subconscious and I'll catch it every once in a while. But I really don't do a lot of stuff. Like I work, I play games, I go grab a snack. It was only until recently that I like traveled and did like, what? I mean, just like ate at different places. <laughs> checked out monuments and stuff in terms of my actual like day to day I'll just be gaming man just gaming and hanging out a lot of people do that though and it's okay you don't have to be interesting like there's some vague notion of someone that I have to be interesting to I guess it's like dating or something where you're like go on a date you want to have things to talk about of stuff that you do and for me it feels like a short list and I don't have any sense of urgency to add to the list because that's a shitty way to do something, to be like, oh, I'm going to go to hiking so that I can tell this Tinder lady about it next week. It's a little weird. It's not weird, but it's just uh, not something I would particularly prefer to particularly do. Um, voice over Noah, take it away. Whoa, third wall break. That's wacky and wild, buddy. Nice stuff. 
I think I just spend like way too much time watching uh, like looks maxing type adjacent content because I'm like looking for some weird guy to like joke about and then uh, I'll onboard some of that logic like you have to optimize and interesting max so that you can go on a good date. I'm like, damn, that's weird. Oh, no. I got like three good ones, I think. It's like 6 p.m. right now. I release these videos at 8 p.m. every day because it's like 5 a.m. Pacific. I know some people have their morning coffee with it. If you're on the East Coast or the West Coast and you're doing that, more power to your prayers out. Well, that's an early wake up time. But uh, that leaves me just a little bit of time. Thankfully this format specifically where I talk and then voice over takes a lot less time, which means I can get that content to you for your pleasurable ASMR needs, for your delicious body double needs. I think there's a certain depiction of people on the internet especially, but also in shows. More Shows are usually more self-aware of this than like influencers, but the depiction of someone that's super interesting and super like well-rounded as a person knows languages and shit knows no speaks a language any language i don't know that's probably like a class thing interesting is defined by defined by the accessibility of someone that someone has to activities and places and things growing up learning instruments doing a being a I don't know, what do people, what do rich people do, like, they just ch hang out and shit. Sorry about the li lip smacking the other day. It wasn't my fault. There's a tiny guy in my mouth taking his hands to my tongue and lips. Ants update, not a single ant hath been seen. I know people were commenting, like, someone qu put a quote to me that said, like, it, uh, 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 what's the word, uh, when you're looking at some shit. Observe the beauty of life. It was like Hemingway or some bullshit. And when you see a baby ant, let him live, for he is a living creature. It might have been the Bible. It sounds like biblical. But uh, I agree. Generally speaking, I agree. But uh, not when there's a thousand of them crawling towards my bed. You got to stop somewhere. You, you, you could extrapolate out to the, there's a poison wasp on you. Or maybe it's just a bee that might sting you and uh well maybe you can't because that, that's actual harm and ants are just freaky like if they crawl on you they're not gonna bite you they might these little ones i don't think would but it's just uh it'll it'll hurt me in that it's extremely uncomfortable i don't have to justify to you why i don't want ants crawling all over my body at night but i know you're not asking me to uh <laughs> but generally i do need to get better i criticism taken i do need to get better at being normal about bugs uh if they aren't a threat to me and my person, the sanctity of my person. Okay, I'll do two more sets, I think. I haven't mentioned it, but I do have some bug related trauma with like creepy crawlies and stuff that buzzes. Uh, when I was a boy, I sat on an underground beehive and got stung like a hundred times. And since then, I have just really have this like really strong aversion to any type of bug. But you know, I'll go to bug therapy or some crap. I don't know. Just three reps, I think. Just two and a half, that's okay. I'm gonna try the uh, Bulgarian switz, split squats. It's like this. Ah, I, could, I need to do, make my knees better at kneeing. What's nice is that in the voiceover, I can carry over my thoughts that I forget to keep going with while I'm recording right now. Cause I'll be forgetting shit, man. If you feel like you're someone that forgets where they're going in sentences sometimes, and you've never done that where you record a video, just for personal use. And you say, you watch it back and see the points where you stopped on the train of thought and see if you'll jog your mind and then continue on that train of thought while you're watching. And then record the audio. Weirdly, that's been like almost therapeutic for me in terms of organizing my thoughts because I'll go towards places that are nice, but then I'll just stop and turn around or stop and fall, fall through like a Tom and Jerry style hole in the ground and then an anvil will land on top of me and then I will cry. Oh, I need more skin. Oh, can't wait to go to 7-Eleven tonight. Oh, 7-Eleven is my go-to right now for like supplies for the home. 
there's grocery stores, but I just, I ended up staying in too late. I went to the market a couple times, but these types of days, not ideal for classy shopping. Classy shopping is one way to just position what I'm doing when I go to 7-Eleven against some notion of something that's like cool and good, like Sunday farmer's market with your cute jiff, which feels weirdly resentful. Markets are fun, I don't know. All right, that's enough. Stopping you now. Here's what we do, we take a trash bin that's never been touched by trash. There's always been a bag in it, which I hope is how you have most of your trash bins at home. We put a WeChat, as a barcode, water in the bucket, in the bin. Let's try three for now, let me think. Let's try four, big strong boy. And then we do lateral raises, which is a shoulder workout that works the shoulder workout that works the shoulder workout that works the shoulder workout. Exercise, like in this sense of muscle building, like workout, weightlifting, whatever, whatever, has always been in my mind so firmly uh, one thing, and that one thing is a push-pull leg split at the gym every, like every day, six days a week, or like three days a week if you can't get it in six days. But my mind has never thought of it for so long since, you know, I don't know, 2016, whenever I graduated high school, whenever I started like just like lifting recreationally. Uh, has been one thing and it's not until literally like this month where I'm like, all right I just can't go to a gym. Let's fuck around. I start yapping in the middle of this set So uh, I'll continue this in a moment My shoulder started hurting recently. I think it was actually I did after I did these workouts two days ago And I think it's like my rear delt is not as strong Even though I did real delt workouts. Oh, well, that might have been why it hurts because it's Temporarily weakening them as they recover. <sighs> Anybody out there got shoulder pain? All shoulder pain enjoyers. Type like boo 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 ba ba bee bee ba ba boo boo ba ba bee bee ba ba boo boo in the chat in the comments. I don't know how many reps I've had. <sighs> it feels like twelve. Because people when I when I say like uh. Everybody who's got a, got a fungus on their feet type, hey, 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 somehow noting the inflection and tone in text comment, and you guys do it. So I'm gonna push the limit of that a little bit. That last one was pretty long. Comment section will be filled up, which we love, because then it forces, it's forced submissive retention. We'll scroll down and be like, I fucking hate this guy, and then they see a bunch of people like, bah, 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 bah. he's like, hold on, I must learn more. Okay, this one we're gonna do the same motion, but we're gonna be leaned over, so it's gonna focus our back. These are called, I don't remember what they're called, lat flies. Just like lifting recreationally uh, has been one thing, and it's not until literally like this month where I'm like, all right, I just can't go to a gym, let's fuck around the concept of like muscle building exercises has opened up to other things. Which I don't know, that feels weird. It's, it's just like what this, something like this was always available to me to just like, you know, if I can't make it to the gym, just do some bullshit at home, just do like a little workout. But it's, it's never even crossed my mind. Instead of thinking, oh, I'll do that. Oh, I'll try that. It's always been, oh, I'll, I, I can't go to the gym today, so I'll just, I'll go tomorrow. Uh, which I'm not trying to say as like a go, don't ever miss your shit or go rise and grind or any of that shit. I'm just, I just mean it like in terms of how I actually conceptualize what the act of physically lifting weights is, uh, has changed in a way that is more, more free now, which is cool. I don't know. Seems cool. I'm going to superset these with, uh, bicep curls because both of these exercises work pretty similarly. Like there's overlap and I don't want to burn them out by going back to back. With these, I can't go all the way because the bucket hits my arm. So I've been leaning back. Will this work? Uh, I'll show it this way. Leaning back. Does that work? 
How did I do it? I did it the other day. I need to go back to the tank. Let me just see how many I get doing this. This video is gonna be a long one, it appears like. Runtime probably past 40 minutes. It might be a lot, it might be intense, but uh, that's how long my workout and uh, surprise ending was. There's a surprise ending in this, um, so stick around for that. But uh, I don't know, I'm just, just not gonna cut it down. See, we'll see how, we'll see how we feel about it. Uh, more ASMR, less ASMR. There's a dial somewhere that we're gonna nudge around to determine the optimal YouTube product for you, from me to you. Yay! I'm thinking right now, trying to figure out if I did these last night, or if... I still haven't figured it out, but um, maybe. It stresses me out thinking I worked a muscle group uh, back to back, but I don't think it's the biggest deal because, you know, you can recover. It's not optimal for sure, but uh, you can still recover enough to get something out of it, I think. I don't know. <laughs> the other thing I'm, I'm excited to do today is pike push-ups, if anyone knows what that is. It's a support with a hook and he's bald. Or it's a push-up where your feet are up towards your hands and it works the shoulders mostly. Okay. Doing inside jokes about League of Legends is nice because, you know, how much of an inside joke is it really? A bit trillion people play that game, and the people that tend to play that game tend to probably, genuine, generally speaking, be more online, and generally speaking, be more inclined to use YouTube. Uh, that's just my guess, given the types of people that comment on my videos that seem to, whenever I reference that game, seem to go, I understood that reference, Captain America nodding. I understood that, or pointing and nodding. I understood that reference. That's what they say, that's what they do. But also I did make a video about League, uh, and I don't know, a, a few people followed me from that, I think, so. But, you know, to any League heads out there, see me on the Thai server. I'll, I'll whoop, whoop, I won't whoop that ass, I'll, I'll run it down. But um, for those who don't play League, run it down basically means just die over and over again. It means like purposefully play really bad. Uh, the way that manifests in the game is, is you run it down means you run into the enemy turret and die and then you spawn and then run into the enemy turret and die over and over again and that's just a metaphor for my life. One thing I wanted to talk about on one of these was vanity. Being vain. I don't actually know what the actual definition of. I just picture it as being like self, self obsessive, obsessed or self congratulatory. <sighs> or f Overly focused on one's, one's own. It's just good stuff about them. As a YouTuber, and I think as many YouTubers are, I'm pretty vain. And you have to be to just get, to just start being like, you wanna listen to me, don't you? I'm so valuable that you wanna hear my th thoughts and words. <sighs> Not for everybody, but I think to some extent, you know, attention. We like attention. We like people to like us. That's basically what social media is. Likes and comments give you dopamine. This message is brought to you by TEDx. But in times of, I guess, insecurity, I feel like I turn to vanity. Where I like turn to like, you know, if my body looks good, I'll be like looking at it a bunch. And be like, wow, that looks good, I'm so good. Or if I do something that's good on the internet or elsewhere, I look at it and go, wow, that's so good, I'm so good. And, I don't know, that's just, that is one way of kind of masking something, you know, being like, there's some inherent desire, not inherent, there's some desire within me to bask in things, in self-obsession, which goes beyond, I guess what I was talking about in the last video, where I was talking about self-esteem, it's like a full teeter, if I'm not feeling all the way in about myself, I'm feeling bad about myself. Uh, just a weird dichotomy, because if I, I don't know, I guess it makes sense. It's like if you're always feeling bad about yourself and down about yourself, the moments where you don't feel like euphoric. But I don't know. Who knows? Okay, I'm late on this, but. That's kind of like a weird pattern in my life of, of vanity coming out um, as a way to deal with insecurity. 
and I can think back to like when I played sports. I, I just Googled the definition. It says excessive pride in one's appearance, qualities, abilities, achievements, uh, like conceited. Um, when I played sports, I remember like if something good happened, if I made a good play, I would kind of dwell on it and use it in my mind as evidence that I am good, a good player, as opposed to just playing the game, it becomes uh, added evidence to this thing. And then when I don't uh, play well, if I drop a pass or, uh, you know, fumble a ball, uh, it makes it easier to rationalize that um, because I have evidence that I'm actually good. And that sounds, that sounds potentially positive, like, oh, it just helps you not get too low, but it, it, it backfires sometimes, as in, if I forget about all these built up evidences of me being good, then the thing that shows me that I'm bad consumes me and I get like obsessed over that. Like, a, you know, drop a pass and then go to the sidelines smacking my helmet a bunch of times like, fuck, 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 I'm such an idiot, blah, blah, blah. And it's super, I don't know. It was never, it, that happened a couple of times, but most of the times it was just kind of like a subtle um, thing that would distract me from you know, playing the game, which I guess that's like a form, it's that same dichotomy between, you know, lack of self-esteem and vanity, like the need to protect myself from something as well as the need to, I guess, sustain the thing that I'm protecting myself from because it's just in my heart and soul. I don't know. I'm trying not to get too essentialist on anybody, but uh, that's just something... I've kind of always dealt with. When it comes to YouTube, uh, you know, initially getting, doing a good job on YouTube with numbers, I become obsessive about that. I'll sit there and refresh the subscriber thing when a video is doing well. That's, as far as I've heard, pretty normal. It's a pretty u universal experience uh, among people that do YouTube, which makes me feel a little bit better, but also maybe, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's more, maybe I'm different and special, a beautiful little angel, a beautiful little sparkling, perfect sweetie. Totally lost a connection during that set. Just started mind wandering and when mind wandering, wine, wine, wandering. <gasps> Did you ever have it mund it, when it, Arlen, and it Arlen for uh, from Kazambasm of a of a what is it? Yeah, no. Sandlin, uh, Markalin, Marscus, Demar Demarcus, Demarco, Macaroni and Demarco, and Simon. So I've just been telling that to as many people as I can, just so they're aware that all of what I just said. So share that with your family and make sure they enjoy their time with you for the rest of your days. See if I can do this. Something keeps ah poking me from my phone. My f arm is touching my phone and it pokes me and it feels like electricity, but I, I, that doesn't make any sense because it's the bottom left corner of the phone. There's no plug, no fucking idea what that's all about. Uh, anyways, I guess to comment on this workout, it felt good. My workouts that, like, this exercise rather uh, that doesn't consume so much energy. It's just like focusing on a on a you know relative to the full body on a small muscle. It's nice. It feels good because you just you know you can feel it getting tired, and as it gets tired, it it doesn't strengthen. Blood rushes to it, and it gets stronger even though it's tired and you can get to the optimal point of being able to lift weight and it feels so good, I don't know. Damn, I just went in crazy train of thought. Choo choo. Ha 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 ha. Chia, yeah, yeah. This is a certified hood classic. Did they say that in the Ozzy Osbourne song? I'm in London, got my London from London. I'm in London. One of my favorite tweets, oh fuck, at my old account, 
Why am I sharing my tweets with you? See, that's vanity right there. One of these times that I was funny one time, and I, I'm saying it again because I'm... Oh, I can't balance it. Don't know where the line is. Oh, the tweet said, I'm in... I'm in London, got my, where my, I got, my oh fuck. I'm in London, got my place where I am from London, which is a sort of play on me being cringe when I share that with you and then explain the play, what it plays on. But, I'm in London, that might be from London. <sighs> I'm way too tired for the amount of work that I'm doing. It's all relative. It's all relative. <sighs> Walking into the family reunion, looking around. It's all relative. When you're about to quit, just quit. Go home. Go home and cry and poop your little pants. When, you're, when things get rough, the rough gets going. When you go through hell, life turns into pain. Uh, what's, what are these true in, truisms? Uh, realize, realize, realize. Um, for this house is a home. It's like cursive on like a uh, plaster plaque and there's like little leaflet designs and the font is the worst font you've ever seen. The Whoever owns this, their daughter's named Bray Lynn when there's like four G's and an H in it somehow. They have fiance gums. The interior design is too ugly to be modern and tasteful but too sanitized to be homely. It's just like, it just sucks. I'm not describing anything, any place in particular. This is just an amalgamation of every person's home I've ever been into in the town that I'm from. No shade. No shade. It's just what it is. I'm gonna put these waters back. Oh. Why is this if all in there? But it's not always. That's what I'm wondering. Pike push-ups. I'm gonna try and do as many as I can. The closer your feet are to your hands, the harder they are. So I'm starting way back here. I'm starting to like these ones a lot. They feel, they're like weird, but, and it's surprising I've never heard of them until I was looking up calisthenics workout because it seems so simple. It's just like, oh, move your feet up and the angle changes and you're still doing a push up, just a different type of push up, and they call it pike. And I don't know. Why don't people talk about it? Why aren't people talking about this? No one's talking about this. They're censoring. This is the type of stuff you're not allowed to say on, on Facebook now. Because of January 6th, election. I'm watching Solo Leveling. It's an anime. Stayed up for the new episode release. Episode was a setup episode. Still good, though, but still a setup episode. And I was thinking about how... I'm sure there's tons of videos and media talking about how anime power fantasies are like... Well, firstly, it's like... A lot of times super boy coded, you know. It's like, I'm gonna win, blah, 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 as a boy growing up and to be a, the most powerful, strongest man in terms of like socialized masculinity, you know, that sort of thing. Leans skews closer to boys. And it definitely skews closer to me because I watch, I'm like, ooh, I'm inspired by this guy that's not only getting more powerful, but he's getting more powerful by doing the same thing every day over and over and over again until it's easy and then he does more. I guess in his case there's a cap, but a lot of, a lot of, I don't know, a lot of animes have that shit. And not for me, I'll watch that shit and be like, ooh, I'll be like, ooh. I think there's a certain identification. There's this like teeter between, I just want to chill and relax and I just, I want to become the best in the world at one thing. Or I want to become like very good at something. Like a, when, who was a carpenter, but like Jesus. I don't know if you ever talked about how to make a nice, some, to make some good shit, you gotta do that shit over and over again. He got busy, he got a little busy. He, he blew up and acted like he didn't know nobody. He had like groupies and shit, but before then, I bet his, I bet his, I, I bet his building was at. No, because when did he do all that God shit? How long was he a carpenter for? I don't know, it's not important, but what I'm getting at is, it, there's a certain admiration that I have for, you know, like my dad. He's uh, a contractor. He builds, remodels, you know, kitchens and builds houses and things. He's not a developer. He's a contractor. And he does work with his hands. And I admire 
that about him and I admire that in people where they by circumstance just do something over and over again until they get very good at it and the better they are the more the more they can produce you know of course there's a market element to it but also the more people he can make go oh I love my my bathroom and my beautiful toilet thank you thank you thank you thank you and that's nice you know they pay him but that that other part's nice too what's that noise that's oh, the fridge okay i just rested for like five minutes <laughs> here we go <laughs> bike push-ups i feel like that idea of the powder powder fantasy power fantasy could circle back into vanity potentially as in you know, you want to become the best at something you want to achieve, uh, but why? What is that for? Who's it for? Is it for yourself to feel good about yourself? Is it for just so that you can be the best and say that you're the best? Is it for the people you can help uh, with the power you have in solo leveling? He's doing it to save his mom. Quite epic for me. I just want to, I just want to game, brother. Well, you can't see my face this whole time. That's funny. Legs only. I don't know, most of you just listen to this shit, though. I'll take a poll, but I get a lot of comments from people that listen and don't. Oh, well, they might watch too, but I'll do a poll. And if the poll is 60 40 listening, I'll make a podcast. Just kidding. In every caffeinated drink, canned coffee, Red Bull that I found in Thailand, I can't find a single one that lists caffeine content, even though I'm translating all of it. And it's frustrating. Part of me secretly hopes that none of it has caffeine in it. So this whole month I've been being a non-caffeine boy, but I haven't had headaches. And I usually get those if I stop. So we never will know. I didn't really Google that much. I Googled and then I gave up after a while, but yeah, I could feel it in the shoulders and the triceps. Don't let me forget to do my core. Admittedly, these push-ups do look ridiculous. I, it looks like I'm trying to scratch my head on the concrete, on the tile, or something. Or like, it does look like some form of prayer. Just the most inefficient prayer in history of all time. <laughs> Fuck, okay, okay, okay. Okay, living on cans of tuna and rice, and the occasional Italian dinner, which is where I went last night. It's fucked up how much I like it. It makes me a little sick. Ashamed almost. Oh, dude, I can't do it. Oh no, I can't do my core workouts. <laughs> I'll just do plank. Hurts my hands all of a sudden. Fresh out of the whoosh. Let's see how long I can go and count. I might cut these, I'm gonna cut these down a little bit just to edit the runtime, just a little bit because it's, you know, long clip of plank. Not that long though. This one I made 40 seconds, I think. But I'm gonna cut it because you get you get it you get the gist I think. Okay, 42. I know I could do better. I could do like one minute 30 when I have a clock and someone yelling, but ah, oh, willpower. It's the sound of a day. It's as sound as a bin. Who would have thought? Look at us. Ah, oh, 10 videos into Noah time. It's been going for five weeks this channel since I privated all my old videos and started a different, a different type of video. But that's fun. That's fun and good. I know I need to do leg workouts. I'm gonna walk tonight. I've been telling myself I'll walk for a while, but I'm gonna do it tonight. Starting my 10,000 steps for 10,000 days thing. 1,000 days is three years, that's 30 years? Wow, quick, quick math, that's... Oh. Here we go. <laughs> I've only had one person ask, weirdly enough, but uh, I did, I did like change, rebrand this channel when I started these videos like six weeks ago. Um, and it used to be just a second channel for me. It was like, let's do the same thing we do on our main channel, but just like more chill. And it, it started working. Like I think some of the videos did really good. I started growing and then I was just like, fuck that. Don't want to do that. Didn't use it for six to 10 months. Don't remember how long, but then came back with just these chiller things, having so much more fun than I was with that other stuff. But there are some straggler, like people that were subscribed to me before, and then they come and find a different format, which is what, I've only gotten one comment from someone like, hey, like, I'm subscribed to this channel, but I don't know why, I've never, this is different than what anything I know, what's going on. And so that's just what it is, in case anyone 
uh, is in that boat and has just been watching because whatever, you know. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> what do you want? What do you do? What do you think? Come on. 45. 26. 27. <laughs> to atone for cheating, I will do one more. Voice over Noah, you got your work cut out for you, my brother in Karam. My brother in crumbs. Oh, I forgot to go to the bakery today. Giat. Giat. Ooh, also comment. Comment about, somebody commented about how, one of my videos I was like, why are people tripping about having their feet out? That's crazy. Uh, somebody said, well, it's because a lot of women and queer folk get, uh, like kind of harassed about feet or like have weird pervs to post their feet in like websites and stuff. And I was like, ah, oh. classic white man moment. Not thinking about other possibilities in the world. Oh, can't wait to shower. That's what they won't teach you in school. They'll teach you all sorts of random crap about math and bullshit, but they won't teach you that Noah can't wait to shower today in his vlog. And that's fucked, man. See, this is the problem with society today. No trade schools, all this, all this like gender. They got gender and they got, uh, what else do they have? Yeah, I don't remember. Conservative, a guy that just like forgets all the stuff he doesn't like. Huh, I guess actually things are okay. Keep it the same. That's actually an accurate description of a conservative liberal. Things are bad, keep them the same, they're good. I like them. Don't change anything, don't improve anything, don't make it worse. Keep it right where it is. <laughs> Cut. And this last one Two. down because Three. you get Four. you get the gist. Bye. Okay, capiche? But I don't know, I didn't do it that long. All right. And I, 30. <laughs> Dude, my back is starting to hurt. Okay. I don't even think I made it to 30, but I counted to 30, and that's what counted to 30. That's what counts to 30. That's what counted to 30. Would you anyone like to join me in the, my, the creation of my disgusting meal? <laughs> my disgusting, delicious meal? Okay, content warning, because this is pretty foul. I like it, okay? And that's what matters. But two cans of tuna. Select. Clever name. C and like, so like, select. Love that. Pop these open and drain them. This is the worst part, is the draining. I'm not gonna show, it's off camera. And the smell. Until you're eating it, the smell, it's awful. I can't believe I'm showing this. It's, it feels like very kind of foul and embarrassing. It's like cat food, man. I'm cutting this, I think. Maybe not. Over the years of feeding my cats food, I've gotten really good at opening cans without letting anything spray and keeping it all contained. Y'all know what I'm talking about if you got cats and use canned food ever. You crack it open and it breaks and cat food gravy lands in your tongue or on the ceiling can't reach it. it stays there for years not ideal oh they're two different brands so two different shades like chicken <laughs> delicious no judging no judging on this channel am i being too hard on myself for liking can oh that's can <laughs> that's, that's fish <laughs> i think what's gross about this probably to some to many viewers is that it's two cans of tuna so it's like a bowl full of tuna i'm adding rice to it Chill. Jesus, relax. I heard you and I'm saying it looks bad because it's two cans of tuna, but that is optimal protein. It's probably like 40 grams, 30, 40 grams. I could get this from just a protein shake, you know, but I don't have protein here. Such is the, such is the way. Is leaving rice really that bad? I see that tweet. It's like cold rice will kill you. And then I see a bunch of Asian people quoting it being like, kill yourself. And I'm like, I, uh, I disagree. <laughs> I trust the rice, the ultimate rice enjoyers, consistently eating rice with their family throughout their lives. But who's to say? Yin and yang, the balance of the universe. Soup's on, I'm gonna mix it. And I'll show you that. Uh, thanks for watching Noah Time. Hope you enjoyed. See you next thing.